In this video, I'm going to be showing you some tips within Gmail. There are lots of settings in Gmail. I'm going to show you a few that should help you to work more effectively. All of the Gmail settings can be found from the settings button, this one here, towards the top right of your screen. When I click onto that one, first of all, I get into some basic view settings. You could look through those, they might be useful. But in this video, I'm gonna go into see all settings. There's a massive amount to choose from in here. I'm gonna show you a few basic ones that are really quick and easy to get started with and also really useful. First of all, how many conversations do you want to be able to see on the screen at once? It ranges from 10 up to 100. I've got it set as 50, so I can always see 50 messages in my inbox at a time and I'd need to move forwards through the pages to see more. You may have noticed that when you send a message in the bottom left of the screen, you do get the opportunity to undo sending. So there is a short delay. I've got mine set at five seconds, which is usually the default, but it does go up to 30 seconds. So again, you can change that if you want to. When I receive a message that has been sent to multiple people, I do like to have the reply to all button easily accessible. So I've got reply to all as my default. So this means that reply all is the first option that I see instead of reply. Lots more in here, but I wanna to go to something that's further down. To save me scrolling through, I'm gonna use find to help me find it. So I'll do control F, type in what I'm looking for, which is stars, and it's brought that up for me. With the stars, there's two rows here, in use, not in use. So stars help you to find messages more easily, and I'll show you how to use this in a moment. But for now, I want to get the stars that I want to have available. So I don't use this red exclamation mark, so I'm gonna drag that one out but I do use the purple question marks. I'm going to drag that one in. So now these are the three I will be able to choose between. Whenever you change any settings, you need to save your changes. The save button is right down the bottom of this list of options. So to get to the bottom of the list, I'm going to do control and end on the keyboard. Control end will take me down to the bottom. And now I can click on save changes and there we go. So if you haven't used the stars before, you've got the little star symbol here. You just click on that as many times as you want to, to get the symbol that you needed. And then later on, if you want to access anything that you've starred, you go to the starred area over here on the left.